a pleasant afternoon to everyone. Before we go to the course topic, let me introduce myself. I am Ms. Jerusalem Bagaforo, your microeconomics professor for this semester. I finished my undergrad in SA College, Coloca, in 2011. My major is operations management under business administration. In the year 2017, I finished my units in professional education, and I'm so blessed that I passed the board exam for licensed professional teacher last 2018. The last year of 2019, month of December, finally I finished my master's degree for management. All right, and then with, uh, with regards to my experience, I teach for eight years already. I handle different subjects related into business, except accountancy. I also do have experience in industry as a sales and plant coordinator and packaging in industrial sales in Kulohkan. Hopefully, I can help you to learn about basic macroeconomics as I discuss it from my own experience. Okay, then let's proceed with the course orientation. Okay, so before I discuss everything now, uh, I hope that you have your pen and notes with you. Para habang nagsasalita po ako, nagsasalat kayo, kung ano yung feeling ninyo or kung saan nagkaroon kayo ng light, enlightened moment, and sulat niyo po. Kasi yung mga nakalagay po rito is just a cue. So mas maganda po, meron kayong mga take down notes. Alright, what is microeconomics? So based from your syllabi, uh, this subject deals with the uh, basic microeconomics, which is fast-paced college level course that focuses on the decision making. Sino sino po ba yung nagkahara decision making, which is individual, businesses, and the government. So kayo, ang aralan po natin is a different variety of economics theories and analyze their practical application in the real world. So sa buong semester po, um, yung microeconomics na pag-uusapan natin ay nakafocus po sa supply and demand for our products, for the labor markets, and the role of competitions play in the free market system. Okay, so what are the objectives? So meron lang tayong four objectives dito. For number one, this is an introductory course that presents functional materials or material concerning the operation of the firm and household as well as the development of the demetary understanding of economic decision making. So, alam naman natin, ang economics ay nagsisimula sa household, sa bahay. Okay, so bakit nga po ba? I will discuss that in the future. Second, introduce the microeconomics concept and analysis. Supply and demand theories, firms and individual behavior, theories, competition and mono, uh, sorry, competition and monopoly and welfare uh, economics. Third, development of individual values and decision making skills through dealing with different microeconomics problem and situation. So, para ano nga daw po ba tayo magkakaroon ng decision making? No, may mga iba't iba tayong mga model or mga problem or uh, solutions that uh, we're going to compute no kung paano nga po ba meron po kasing mga um, analysis na kung saan before we make a decision we need to have a computation first okay and for the last one the use of microeconomic applications to address problem in the current economic policy throughout the semester Alright, so our subjects are divided into two, which is the midterm and final. In our midterm, ayan, meron po tayo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 uh, topics. Okay, for the first topic, which is the introduction to, to economics. So, dito pag-aaral pag natin paano or bakit nga po ba importante yung economics. Ano po yung pinagkaiba ng micro and macro. So, for sure, napagdaanan nyo na to sa inyong applied economics. So, somehow, we need to have a recap para po magkaroon kayo ng, para po ma-refresh ma yung mga napag-aralan ninyo 
no kayo po ay senior high. Okay, so in introduction also, malalamin din po natin kung ano po yung ginagamit ng mga economists. Ano po yung mga ginagamit nilang mga teorya or mga models para po magkaroon ng better understanding about economic issue. And sa uh, introduction to economics also, uh, malalaman din natin kung paano um, kung paano uh, on how to organize um on how to how on how to or, to organize economics in overview of economic system for lesson 2 we have the choice in the word of scarcity and so na meron din so obviously scarcity may kasi say may mga constraint tayo it's either resources natin may mga resources natin we have money we have materials um we have different kinds of goods and services. So, dito rin po, meron na tayong kinatawag na production, possibility frontier, and social choices. And, when it comes to scarcity, okay, may mga confronting objections tayo in different economic approaches. Alright, for our lesson 3, which is the demand and supply, ayan, I know that you are very familiar with that, together with the equilibrium in markets for goods and services. So, dito din po, malalaman natin kung kailan nag-shift to the right and left ang ating demand and, uh, demand and supply. Okay, depende po sa mga schedule nito. So, based from demand and supply also, meron na tayong ginatawag na price ceiling and price floors. For the fourth topic, we have the labor and financial markets. So, even po sa labor or yung mga magagawa, ng power, meron na tayong tinatawag na demand and supply para sa kanila. Same thing with our financial market. So, maybe financial market, ito po yung uh, deals with finances. Obviously, banks, loans, yan. Yan po yung mga tinatawag natin na, na may mga loans, mga pound shop, uh, mga, mga padalahan, yan, mga financial market natin. Uh, so, sa ating lesson 4, paano nga po ba nag-work no, yung labor market sa demand and supply together with the financial market? And for our lesson 5, we have the elasticity. So, in our elasticity, we will talk about the price elasticity of demand and the price elasticity of supply. Meron tayong mga follow cases of elasticity and constant elasticity. Okay. Next, we also have the last topic in our midterm, which is the consumer choices. Ano ba yung, paano nga daw po ba nagkakaroon ng choices si consumer? Okay, doon po ba sa pinipili niya? Uh, in, paano siya nag, na, nagkakaroon ng decision na yun na yung bibili niya? Okay, sa so meron tayong mga consumption choices. So, uh, meron tayong mga consumption choices. So, in here topic also, we will uh, madedetermine din natin how changes in economic and prices affects consumption choices. And for the last, uh, under consumer choices, okay, meron din tayong tinatawag na behavioral economics or economics. Next, for our uh, first topic sa ating finals, yan, meron tayong production costs and industrial struct, uh, indus, industry structure. So, meron tayong explicit and explicit costs. So, magkakaroon tayo ng computation, accounting and economic profit, production in the long run, short run, production in the uh, cost in the long run, cost in the short run. So, ayan. Next, um, for our eighth lesson, we have the perfect competition. Ano nga daw po ba siya nagmamatter? How perfectly competitive firms make output decision? And three, an exit decision in the long run. Efficiency and perfectly competitive markets. Okay. 
And our number 9, which is the monopoly. This is monopoly natin. We're going to distinguish between a natural monopoly and a legal monopoly. Explain how economies of scale and the control of natural resources lead to the necessary formation of legal monopolies. And for the 10th lesson, we have monopolistic competition and oligopoly. So, dito, we're going to um, explain or describe how a monopolistic competition choices prices and quantity. Dito rin, we're going to analyze how advertising can impact monopolistic competition. For lesson number 11, we have the monopoly and antitrust policy. So, dito, pag-uusapan natin yung different kinds of merge. Okay, next po is, um, okay, next is the positive, a, positive externalities in public goods. Okay, so, bakit nga po, anong, bakit po, uh, nagkakaroon ng um, underinvest no si private sector when it comes to innovation how the government can encourage innovation yeah and for the last topic we have the public economy so in our public economy um dito na nagkakaroon ng voters participation and cost of election Special interest politics, ayan, democratic system of the government. So, ayan po yung mga uh, topics na pag natin for the entire semester. With regards with your grade, ito po ang ating grading system. This is divided into three, which is the written work, performance task, and term assessment. Okay, so... Um, just wait for the pre-test that I will upload in our Google Classroom. If you have any question, just write your question in the comment section. Uh, that is highly appreciated. Thank you for listening.